Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Steve. Join me on Monday the 1st of April. It's just coming up past midday and I'm heading north. My membership for Nightcast has just kicked in from today. So I've taken a couple of days off work and we're going to head up here and fish Brook Hall until Friday. Really looking forward to it. As I said, my ticket kicks in today for the Nightcast waters. Five waters to go at this summer. It's not an easy water from what I've been told. Um, it's a water, small intimate venue of about an acre and a half. Depths to around 10 feet down in the deep end. Average is about four foot deep. And it's a hard water. It's carped to 32 pound, 32 and a half pound, I think it's a, it's a lake record, which is known as the BBC, the Brook Hall Big Common. But there are plenty back up kind of high 20s and mid 20s. It's a specimen water, there's about 60 fish in this lake for an acre and a half. So we're going to go up and give it a go anyway and see how we get on. Really looking forward to it. Um, what I have been told is that there was a few lads on it over the weekend, over the Easter weekend. They fished from Thursday to Sunday. Five lads I think they was told and there was one fish out to 19 pound. That was a report I had up to the yesterday. I'm not sure if there was one guy you think still on the car park swim staying on and uh, he was going to stay on till today. I don't know how he got on last night, so there may be more fish out. Goals for this week, I just want to catch, I just want to catch one fish, just to say, I broke me now he cast duck. So, yeah, if we can get one of these Brook Hall beauties out, I'll be absolutely delighted. That's, it's just gone midday, We've got about a two hour spin. We should get up there for about 10 past two-ish, in around there. Looking forward to it. See you on the bank. Well, good evening. Just gone 20 past five, we're all set up. We're here, we're fishing. Got three rods out on the dance floor. And uh, yeah, delighted. So we're fishing a swim called Stones. Uh, where they did turn up, I was looking to fish the car park swim. There was a guy there already in the in the swim. And um, he was thinking about going home and then must've got permission off the missus or something to stay an extra night. So he's gonna stay an extra night. So I said I'd jump into the stones. So left hand rod, I'm fishing just off an island. There's a bit of a bush and a drop drop off just off the island into about six foot of water. Found a nice little clear spot there just on the drop off in the margin of the of the, of the island. So I have one on that and that's on a pineapple wafter. And then on the other two rods, I'm fishing 15 mil um, the cold white pop-ups. There they are 15, aren't they? Yeah, 15 mil cold white pop-ups. Got them on. Uh, one of them is out in about seven and a half, eight foot of water. Um, about a rod length off the end of the island. And then I'm out on sort of a margin swim on the right hand side uh, margin. And about eight and a half, nine foot of water. The bailiff did say that this is the sort of place that with there's been two or three days of bait going in that it'll so suddenly just switch on, do a few fish and then switch off again. So hopefully over the four days that I'm here, that'll happen and we'll get one or two runs. Well, morning lads. Tuesday morning, just got eight o'clock and I've just got the rods back out on their spots. Um, all three of them still fishing on 15 mil cold pop-up from Nutribate. The white pop-ups. I said I'll give them another another go for a little while and then then we switch over onto uh, corn or fake corn. But yeah, pretty uneventful night last night. Apart from this morning at 4 a.m. I got wiped out by uh, fighting geese who ballooned through all three of my rods and took them all out. Um, even the right hand rod ended up on the ground. So 
needless to say, he woke me up with a bit of a start. Where all three, there were all three of the alarms blasting off and chaos outside the bivvy. But yeah, the the board life uh, didn't get much of a sleep at all last night with the with the board life on here, <laughs> as you can probably hear. But yeah, it, it's lovely to watch the nature and stuff like that. But when it's waking you up at four a.m., wiping out your odds, it's a killer. Good afternoon, it's just gone 10 to 4, it's Tuesday and uh, we have moved swims. So I'll give it till about midday um, today on the on the last swim on stones, um, but I just wasn't happy um, where I was. Uh, geese were annoying me, coots were annoying me and then one of the lads pulled off the, the car park swim and went home so I just jumped in there. But moving has nearly killed me. <laughs> I have too much equipment, too much gear to be moving. Um, because I'm here to Friday, I brought everything with me, including the kitchen sink. And um, yeah, it's just it's a serious amount of equipment to be moving swims. So I'm here to Friday. That's it. I'm not moving, regardless if I catch or not. I've three back out on the dance floor. Left hand rod is in a nice clear spot that I found just under underneath the overhanging trees, right down in the bottom corner. Um, probably in about three and a half, four foot. The middle rod is, is over near the far bank margins. Um, and then I found a lovely little clear spot just off the island, about rod, rod and a half length off the island, just in that channel, about four and a half foot again. Smallest residents in the net. Get in, get in, and that net. Get in, get in. Oh, yes. Well, morning, guys. It's just coming up to 1 a.m. and um, we've just had a run and landed our first Nycast carp uh, here at Brook Hall. Uh, the move to the car park really paid off. Not one of the biggest residents, probably one of the smallest in here, but a little cracker all the same, a little mirror, a little scaly one. I just eight and a half pound, but uh, very, very welcome. Um, considering how hard the, the lake has been fishing over the last few days, I'm absolutely thrilled with catching this little pasty. Small it may be, but very welcome nonetheless. Um, I'm absolutely delighted, actually. Um, came in the centre rod, cold pop up, white pop up. It's a, it's a little cracker, eight and a half pound, and my first night cast fish. As I said, considering how hard it's been fishing here at Brook Hall over the last uh, over the last few days, I'm absolutely delighted that I, I winkled this one out. So yeah, let's get her back and see if we can get her big sister or mummy. Absolutely delighted. Yes, mwah, a beauty. <laughs> look at that. Let's have a look at the other side. The other side's absolutely beautiful. Oh. Oh, oh, look at all these scale patterns on that one. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Lovely. Little scaly banger. All right, let's get it back. Oh, I'm so chuffed. Get in your beauty. Here you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Thanks for the visit. 
So yeah, eight and a half pounder last night. Um, you probably would have seen the footage already. I probably put it up, but it's uh, yeah, cracking little fish. Really, really happy with it. As I said, it's one of the harder lakes on the Nycast ticket, so to get one out on my second night, but within the first kind of 48 hours, um, was happy enough with it. So hopefully we might get another run or two before we have to pack up on Friday morning. Uh, we do have an orderly northeasterly blown in at the minute, and um, it's going to bring a bit of wet weather with it. And it's cold; it's very, very cold. The temperatures are getting up to about nine degrees today and water temperatures on the surface between 8 and 10 degrees so it is a cold one still so i'll give you a quick look at the the rigs uh, that i'm using down on the business end so bait all three of them are out on the 15 mil code white pop-ups um, and then i'm using these testing out these new omc lock there's a size six the lock hooks I said I'd give them a try. I seen them. I was uh, down to the tackle shop and I picked them up and I said I'd give them a go. So that's OMC size six lock. Um, I'm using a bait screw just to, to hold on the pop up. Down to one of the little uh, medium dazzlers, spinner swivel, bit of tungsten putty there. The blend tungsten putty from OMC. That's over the crimp and it's a crimped section. About six and a half inches of um, twenty five pound kickback. And then that's crimped down at the end that connects onto me leg clip. And I'm using just a 50 mil kicker. Again, that's an OMC 50 mil kicker. It's quite a sandy bottom here, sandy gravel bottom. So I'm using the light kicker. So I'm not trying to blend in as much as I can. Yeah, it's kickback fluorocarbon. It's quite a stiff rig. And that's what did the business for me last night. Man, I am not liking this weather at all. It is absolutely pissing it down. See, Bibi is getting blown all over the place. There's not much sleep going to be had tonight. It's at this point, but I really don't want to run because I don't want to go on that. <laughs> I've actually totally sealed off the inner skin of the bivy. Just keep a bit of heat in. But yeah. Pissing it down. High easterly winds. Not good. Not good at all. Well lads, that's it. It's Friday morning. Nine o'clock. I'm pulling off the lake early. We have a, a few things to do at home with the family. So I want to get, get home early and before this uh, this rain and the storm blows in. So yeah, four nights on Brook Hall. First session up here on the Nightcast ticket and I really enjoyed it. So I only had the one fish out, eight and a half pound. And um, that was on the Tuesday night. So uh, yeah, didn't get anything else after that. Um, there was 10 anglers I think 9 or 10 anglers over the last week that have been on the lake and only 3 fish have been out so a 19 pound and, and an 8 pound that fell to 1 anglers who were on the stones which was the original peg that I was fishing in um, and then there was uh, myself who had the 8.5 pounder in the car park swim so yeah um, I don't know when I'm going to get back over again probably the end of the month um, and I don't know if I'm going to come to Brook Hall I might try Drumore one of the other waters here on the tickets. Um, just to get a few fish under my belt, I think. Um, that's a bit of a, a runs water, or so I'm told, compared to, to here. Um, bit of a smaller stamp of fish, but there's still 20s in there. So we might go give Dromore a try at the end of the month. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching the, the, the vlog as uh, four days condensed down into a fairly short vlog. But um, yeah, as I said, I've enjoyed myself. It's always great to go back up onto a new lake and to a new ticket. And I think I'm going to enjoy myself up here over the next nine, ten months. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you wouldn't mind, please give it a like, subscribe and hit that bell to get the notifications on the next time I upload. And if you like this sort of content, why don't you check out one of my other videos on the channel. Until the next one, see you soon. Tight lines.